All right, I'm back out. I didn't think I was gonna be out here until October, but I had some weather delays with work, so thought I'd come out for a couple days. Um, got some organizing to do, get ready for winter and the month of October when I'm gonna be out working. Um, but I'm gonna try and get started on this wing wall over here. Um, probably won't get started on it until tomorrow, um, but I got some tires get those laid out and start pounding them. All right, it's early the next morning. Um, I'm gonna try and get started on this eastern wing wall. You can see it kind of started digging away before. I just wanted to see if that dirt would hold up. So I'm gonna clear out all this dirt and then I can run my string line, make sure I'm coming off the building straight. All right, so I got the first three tires kind of leveled with each other um, and close to the same elevation as that bottom first course. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a string to the front of uh, the west side and bring it all the way across, um, just touching the east side tire. That way I can put these tires in line uh, with the front of the building. All right, so I got that string laid out, and I've got four tires. These are all 245s, the same that I did for the bottom course. Um, kind of look down the line. They're all straight in line with the front of the building. So originally I was planning on not having the wing walls made out of tires. Um, it kind of changed my mind. I was had a few ideas, maybe doing a gabion basket or something to retain that berm. Um, but ended up, this was going to be the easiest option. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have just pounded all these tires together. That way, these two walls would be interlocked um, with the stagger of the tires. Um, I'm going to have to do something to connect these two um, so that this wall doesn't get pushed out by the berm. Uh, once I get up, to that fifth course on the wing walls, I can then start overlapping the tires and staggering them in between uh, to kind of join these walls together. So the next step is I'm gonna get some of that scrap plastic over there, um, cut some little squares of that, get those in the bottom of the tires and then start filling them with dirt. So I've got the plastic inside the tires. Um, the next step after the uh, wing wall is done is I'm going to be putting the thermal wrap and vapor barrier in um, That'll be pretty much right in line with The center of this tire So that berm is too big right now. I got to get all that dirt out of there um, So I'm just going to use that dirt to start filling these so I can just have a nice cliff on that berm that I can lay the blue board and uh, vapor barrier up against So I got those four bottom course tires all pounded and leveled. Um, I redid the string so that it's up on the second course of tires. Um, got those all lined up, filled with cardboard. So I think the plan is I'll pound these, get some weight in them, and then I'm just gonna put a squishy in here. Um, and then maybe I'll leave it for now, uh, but It'll eventually end up being a half tire like this, um, cut and secured to this one. Um, I want this wall to be vertical on the end there, um, but I'll leave it for now in case I need to extend any further. So I got those three tires pounded and I got the squishy in. Um, I'm hoping sort of the shape of the squishy kind of wrapping around the curve of those tires will help um, the berm not blow out the, the wall here. 
Um, you can see I'm kind of cutting a line about three, three and a half feet off of the back of the tire wall. So this will be the insulated mass. So there'll be blue board insulation and um, some six mil plastic vapor barrier going along here. And then I'll add more, uh, more dirt, but that'll be in October by the time I get to all that. Um, I just need to get these wing walls done on both sides and then I can do that wrap all the way around. But now it'll have something to tee into. So moving on to the third course of tires. Um, so the second one was 235s. The third course will also be 235s. Um, this one tire that's connecting into the main tire wall here, uh, I'm thinking about attaching some screws right there and also into the tire below um, just to help it from not wanting to blow out. So I'll screw that one in, get some cardboard in, and start pounding these. Uh, these will probably be the last tires I pound on this trip. Um, it's about two o'clock right now and I gotta head back to Big Sky today. So I'll try and get these three tires pounded and then it'll be probably October before I'm back out. All right, so I got all these tires where I want them. Uh, got the string lines so I know this is where they're gonna be. Uh, I've just got these big headed structural screws um, that I'm going to shoot in through the tire before I pound it into that other tire. So I'm also going to shoot them down into the tires below that we already found it. And so I got the whole third course, or at least those three, done. Um, I think I'm going to call it for the day. 11 tires today so it's a pretty good start on the wing walls um, kind of moving around you can see the trench that I'm starting to make that'll be for the blue board and thermorat I'm just about to start cleaning up and heading out uh, this is how it'll sit until I'm back in October um, I'll be here like I said the whole month of October I'm gonna try and finish up the wing walls and then get the rest of the tires up, as well as um, put in the thermal wrap, vapor barrier, and the water cistern. So hopefully all the tire work will be done in October. <laughs>